Good morning, Modern Stedders. Today's Friday, and Friday is Modern Stedder Update. It's crazy not doing a daily video every day this week. We'll be doing five, but it feels odd not doing a video every day. What do you think, Pluto? Does it feel odd? It's Figaro stalking us. Yeah, you. I wanted to show you the tomato plants. They're going crazy. Look how good they're doing. Go on the other side. I was gonna transplant them into the larger soil blocks, but if I do that, we're not gonna have enough room here. I'm gonna have to wait till our three day pasture to plate whole hog culinary class is done so we can put them in the outdoor kitchen and they'll have more room. I'm afraid if I put them upstairs in a different setup, this guy is going to end up eating them. Right, Figaro? We'll wait till the class is over, then I'll put them in the outdoor kitchen. That'll be their greenhouse until they're ready to get planted. So that'll be good. We've been trying to get a lot of stuff prepped and ready to go for the class. I've been putting in some last minute orders to get some things we're going to need for the class. I got one thing, I got two things in yesterday I want to show you. I try to keep all of our stuff organized, so I already put away what I got. Let me show you. I thought this is kind of neat. Nice mortar and pestle for grinding up all of our spices. I believe that's made from an olive tree. It smells like olive oil. I thought it was pretty wild looking. It is heavy, that's for sure. But that'll work nice in the class. Last year we used a coffee grinder. It was kind of noisy when you're trying to listen to instructions and video record if you hear a grinder going in the background. So that's why I wanted to get the hand powered one. This one's quiet. The other neat thing I found, it's a really neat leather bound journal online that I figured We'll start using for our cookbook and recipes and all that fun stuff. When we got it, it was that hard, dried out leather that after using it a few times, you know it's going to break on the seams. So I've been conditioning it a little bit. I'm going to keep working it with our bees butter. And the leather's just been soaking that right in. It's softening up and it's just going to make a nice leather bound cookbook for us now but man it's amazing what a little bit of conditioner can do to that leather I was scared when I got the book how hard it was but now I think I got three coats on here right now just from doing that it softened it up some and I know if we keep doing it this book will last us a long time so I'm gonna be writing down all of the recipes that we learn and all the tweaking we're doing for our different recipes that we've made for our home cured bacon and stuff like that. We'll write all of our, it'll just be a great place to keep everything and have a good resource to go to. I want to thank all the modern steaders. On Wednesday night, we reached 25,000 subscribers. That's a huge milestone. Thanks everybody for that. One other thing I wanted to talk about before we go outside and feed the animals. Justin Rhodes and family are gonna be having their great American farm tour movie kickoff the weekend we're doing our pasture to plate three day whole hog culinary class and he's going to be airing that movie for free that weekend i'm going to put a link here and in the description down below if you click on that link you can sign up to watch the movie i know that weekend we're going to be watching the great american farm tour movie i'm excited for it i don't know what is going to be in there per se i know he said that me and the crazy rooster in there it should be pretty funny so I don't know what to expect, if that's good or bad. If you want to watch the video, the link's here in the description down below. We can watch it together. I don't know what to expect, but I'm sure it's going to be a great movie all together. It's going to be fun watching it with Doug and Andy from Hand Hewn Farm. Justin also went to their farm. So it's going to be fun watching it with people that they stopped at their house too. So I hope you guys watch that video. We can all learn a lot and maybe get a few chuckles out of it. We'll see, that's not this weekend, so not tomorrow,
but the following weekend. You ready to go outside, Pluto? Huh? You ready? I know you're waiting patiently. Now you ready? I think nature's playing a cruel, cruel, cruel trick on us. Look at that. Snow. What the heck? Our snowbank melted quite a bit. Good morning, Mr. Biggs. <laughs> You're warning. <laughs> hey. Boy, they're noisy this morning. The chickens are loving roaming around the property. And we actually like having them just free range. And it's nice to look out the window and seeing them all over the property, in the pig pasture, in the pig pen. Look at all that snow we melted. Now I just hope we lose all this snow bank before the class starts. Pluto has been doing very well with the chickens. Every once in a while she'll chase them, but she usually minds her own business and they don't bother her and she doesn't bother them, which is nice. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. We're gonna be busy this weekend cleaning up the outdoor kitchen. It's not real dirty, but we gotta get it all cleaned up and organized and get it ready for our pasture to plate whole hog culinary class. Man, it's crazy to think our class is already next week. Boy, does time fly. I wonder how the pigs are liking this chilly morning this morning. Good morning, girls. What are you doing? Huh? Good morning. Is your bed nice and warm? You don't want to get out? I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to get out of my warm bed either. Yeah. It's probably nice and warm over there, isn't it? Get that hay all matted down nicely, nice deep bedding, radiating heat back onto you, I bet you. Nope. Yesterday it was raining out, and this morning we wake up, it's a 16 degrees in snow flurries. Yesterday it was high 40s, low 50s. Slow down. 
next couple of days I need to come out and make a video on measuring the pigs to figure out how much they weigh and seeing how accurate that is when it comes to harvesting day when we have them up and we have them on the scale I guess you'd call it so we're we'll doing that video in the next few days but it's cold. Let's go check on the chicks and I want to get back in the house. Burr! Pluto wants to check in on the chicks too. See how they're doing in New York City. I need to fill their feeder back up. They're looking good, but the turbo feeder has been working awesome for them. And then our horizontal water is working amazing. They're growing up nicely. They're doing great out here in New York City. They have plenty of room to move around. We got some in the corner, it's kind of dark so you can't see them. And they just been growing nicely. Look at how big you're getting. If you want to know how we made that water, I'll put a link to that video right here. I'm gonna go run in the house and get the chicks some feed. Now I have found if I fill the feeder up that much, which is two scoops for us, that'll last 27 chicks. Well, that'll last our 27 chicks at the stage they're at two days. So it's been working out great for us. Well, we're going to be busy here the next few days getting ready for our class. I don't know if you can tell or not, but we are excited for the class. We're going to be uh, cooking up some delicious food. We're going to be bringing you along with us and sharing the class with you. We're going to be having so much fun. Homemade hot dogs. Homemade hot dogs. That's going to be right up there with BLTs this summer. Man, we're going to be eating good. That's for sure. We've got a lot of prep work we're going to be doing. We'll be bringing you along, showing you everything we're going to be doing to get ready for the class. So it's going to be fun and exciting. And we'll see you right back here on the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. I'm going to go in the house now and warm up before I go to work. It is cold out. Burr!